Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about urea cycle. The biochemical process in which an urea is produced from ammonia and other compounds. We know that different kind of animals use different kind of metabolic ways to eliminate the waste and toxic substance from our body. And among them one is ammonia, which needs to be eliminated. Ammonia being a toxic substance needs much more dilution and it's excreted by mostly aquatic animals since water is readily available. But in case of terrestrial animals where the water is less present, the ammonia is not eliminated directly but it's first converted into less toxic form or we can say less toxic substance called urea and then excreted. Less dilution needed for urea and the water is conservable in this way. First of all, we see the location of urea cycle. It's found to happen in liver cells called hepatocytes. And kidney play a final part where urea is transported for elimination. Then we see this occurs in animals called urotelic animals. That is the animals which excrete urea as a waste product. So what is the basic role of urea cycle? We see the ammonia which is being produced in our body needs to be eliminated as a waste product. But this being a toxic chemical needs the conversion first. And it is the urea cycle which helps it out and converts the toxic ammonia into urea which is non-toxic and can be eliminated easily without any excess dilution thus conserving water. Here we see the ammonia combines with carbon dioxide and aspartate or we can say aspartic acid and gives off the product to urea in the biochemical reaction and the energy is invested from ATP molecules. Now let's see how the urea cycle drives on. The first two reactions occur in mitochondria and rest of the reactions occur in cytosol or hepatocyte. In the first step, we see the reaction occurs between ammonium ion and a bicarbonate ion which is catalyzed by an enzyme called carbamoyl phosphate synthetase. And the product formula is carbamoyl phosphate. The energy is derived from two ATP molecules for this reaction which makes it an irreversible reaction. After that, the ornithine from cytosol comes into the mitochondria which reacts with carbamoyl phosphate to form citrulline. And this citrulline passes in cytosol and the next three steps occur in cytosol. The outgoing citrulline reacts with aspartate in presence of enzyme originosuccinate synthetase. And here also ATP is utilized for reaction to occur which makes it irreversible also. And we get originosuccinate from this reaction. Then in the next reaction, the originosuccinate is converted into arginine in presence of a lyase enzyme called originosuccinate lyase. And here in this reaction, fumarate is released. The fumarate released here into a citric acid cycle. And finally, in presence of arginase enzyme and water molecule, the urea is released. And arginine recycles back the ornithine to continue the cycle. So this is how the urea is being made from ammonia in the urea cycle. This is a general overview of your cycle. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.